Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, before I start the video today, just want to thank you guys for all the support that you have been providing me. We are so close to 1000 subscribers. This has been my target for the last year and we are just so close to it. So thank you all. So let's start with the video today. Uh, we are talking about any of the issues that you have been facing with Windows after an update. So uh, suppose you have updated your Windows and something stopped working. This will generally work in all the cases. So let's get started with the video. So the first thing you need to do is search for the update that broke your windows and uninstall it. So step one is search for updates over here in the search bar. You'll see an option that says check for updates. Click on it. A window like this will open up. Just wait for the updates over here you'll see. So in this case, uh, my windows is up to date. In case your windows is not up to date, just click on check for updates and update your windows to the latest update. Uh, in my case, it is already up to date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on view update history. When you click on view update history, you will see an option over here that says uninstall updates. It will open a window like this. What you, need to, what you need to do is search for the update that was installed on the latest occasion. So in my case, it is 26-1-2019, which was yesterday. So you can, all you have to do is select the latest one or click on uninstall and it will uninstall the latest update. And that's it. Even uh, you are after this, it's if it's still not working, what you need to do is go to the second latest occasion. In my case, which would be 16-1-2019 and I'll update or install that as well. So this would be the step number one, quite simple. So and the step number two will be to check the status of your Windows installation, check for corrupted files and fix them. So what you need to do is you need to take these three commands. I'll leave these three commands in the description. You can copy it from there. You need to paste each one of these commands in the command prompt. Uh, to open command prompt in admin mode, you need to write down CMD over here. You'll see an option like this. Right click it. Click on run as administrator. A window like this will open up. A black window. All you need to do is copy the first command. paste it click enter this will take around 15 to 20 minutes to finish the first command takes 15 minutes the sec second command takes maximum of 5 minutes and the last command will take around 15 to 30 minutes depending on how much of corrupted files are there in your windows installation so this was all for today this is a general fix for all the problems that windows updates bring i hope this helped uh, i hope you like this video uh, if you want me to keep making such videos, show your love by hitting the red subscribe button below. Have a nice day.